Hello, hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be dropping into MWZ and I'm going to show you the easiest ways to get schematics and legendary loot. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, we've dropped in with a few of the perks that we need. We've got golden armor plates as well. And we've got our pack free crystal. So this video I'm going to show you the easiest way to get your schematics and your legendary loot from the Dark Aether. I really need some mags of holding, uh, so I'll be going into a Season 2 Dark Aether today. But obviously this this will work in any Dark Aether really. I mean, you know, all the contracts are pretty similar. Apart from the Escort one, uh, I think the Escort one is in Season 3 Dark Aether, I think. I normally just don't do that one at all. You know, it's a bit, it's a bit difficult without a VR11. But we're going to go straight into the Tier 3 zone here today. We are going to do some contracts, uh, just get our essence up a little bit so we can be prepared to then just go into the Dark Aether. Okay, let's make our way over here. Start this bad boy off. Yeah, so basically, you know, to be prepared for the Dark Aether, you need a few self revives. Uh, you need some Casimirs, especially for Season 2 because there's a Aether Extractor contract. And I've just brought in Golden Plates today to help me out as well. I've actually never used this Striker 9 in the Dark Aether, so it's going to be another interesting video. I'm sure we'll be fine though. Yes, yeah, so Season 2 has a Bounty, the Aether Extractors, and the Outlast. The hardest one is probably the Outlast because the area is quite small. But we will be absolutely fine. As I said, you just have to be prepared, have enough self revives. You know, be comfortable, be confident. Okay, I got really, really bad aim assist onto that guy then. Shouldn't be too far off doing this now. I'm going to chuck a decoy here. Just so we can get back up. Tell you what, we'll chuck the thermite down there as well. Nice. We'll collect our loot and we'll go ahead actually and we'll grab this cargo. We shouldn't be too long in the uh, tier 3 zone. We should be quite quickly going into the Dark Aether. Okay, we'll go ahead and do this cargo contract now. Alright, let's do this. Nice and easy cargoes, basically free cash, free loot. I'm going to be doing another video as well, where I basically start off with nothing, and then end up in the Dark Aether in the same game. Um, I'm not sure how to do it though, you know, shall I start off with a, an epic tool, or start off with a rare tool, and then try and just do a triangle? I have no idea, because they're starting with nothing. And then, you know, there's literally starting with nothing, so I'm not really sure what I should be doing on that. Um, I'll probably just start with, you know, a, a rare tool or something. But then, but then, like, doing a, doing a triangle just seems a bit, you know, it just seems a little bit too easy. So we'll see. I mean, we'll have to go around the map. And just see what we can get, basically. That's going to be in another video. I might upload that today, actually. As well as this video. We'll see. And we also have um, another video coming out. I mentioned it a week ago, a week or so ago. And basically, I have done uh, 100 contracts in Tier 3. And, yeah, we're just going to compare the loot. I know a few other creators have done that in the last couple of weeks as well. But... You know, uh, I've just got to be quicker next time, I guess. But yeah, if you go back on my videos, I um, I said I was doing it about a week and a half ago. So, yeah. A minute ago, yeah, I tried doing a bounty contract, and it was a disciple. And uh, I was shooting it, and then I ran out of ammo, and then I was shooting it again, and I ran out of ammo. And it was literally just automatically regening like the health was just going up even when i was shooting it like and it wasn't even doing like the um 
you know, the animation. Like where he heals off you, or, you know, he summons zombies, or he heals off, like, a mega or a mangler. He, I think it was just broken. Like, he was literally... Oh, we're stuck here. He was literally just, like, unlimited HP. He had golden armor plates, basically. I literally went to get ammo, like, four or five times. Okay, we'll stow those. But yeah, that was a bit of a joke, so we ended up cancelling that contract. I mean, we didn't really need... Oh, we do not want that. We want that instead. We're going to get one of them. We get two of them. We get one more of them. How much money we got left? 7k. Alright. So if we drop one of them and stow it, we'll get a, an extra one when we go into the Dark Aether. And then we can buy... Hmm. I mean, we could get another sentry gun and we'll get a self revive as well. Alright, so I'm going to go into the Dark Aether for now. I will see you guys when we get in there. Alright guys, we're in the Dark Aether. We'll just go back on ourselves here into the warehouse and grab the first contract. So we have 15 minutes to do all three contracts in this Dark Aether. I mean, there's a Mangler here as well. Wow, okay. So basically what I like to do, you know, just be prepared. Even if you have, like, a few more self revives than you need. Or, you know, and a, a few more Casimirs than you need. It's good to just be prepared. That's what I like to do anyway. So we got the Mega. Nice. The Mega is probably the easiest one, I think. The Disciple is the hardest. And we'll just make our way over here. So Golden Plates is really going to help you if you're doing it solo. Obviously I've used an Elder Sigil. So the zombies have slightly more health than they do in... Than when you use, sorry, a, uh, a normal sigil. I just want to get this guy out of the fog. Because it's a lot easier to fight him when he's up here. Okay, so. We'll just get rid of some of these guys. Okay, so for some reason, ammo's been a really, really big issue for us in this game. I have no idea why. Okay, this guy's almost done with now. We just need ammo. I mean, it's not exactly the idea, is it? that guy. That guy dropped ammo down there. So we'll run through here, grab that. Sentry gun's really helping us out, just clear some of these bosses and stuff. So honestly, this gun's probably not the best one for this. So, I'd probably take in a Meta Gun instead. But we're almost there with this Mega. I mean, shouldn't be too much longer.
go back up in our spot. Okay. So I think we might need some help from our sentry gun here, just to take down a few zombies. Okay, our sentry gun just disappeared. <laughs> Uh, I don't really want to use a Casimir, but I guess we could. Okay, we've got some ammo. We've got some more too. What else did we get from there? Not a lot. Alright, let's go and get this guy back up here. There we go. Okay, so we got epic tool, we got a dog bone, which will take take that self and we'll use the cryo freeze. Uh we'll still the epic tool. I mean we're not gonna not really gonna probably exfil with it, but it's all good. We'll we'll take it for now. Okay, let's go and get this next contract, which we're gonna do the outlast, which is just on top of this building up here. Okay, let's hop up here, grab this next contract. And we'll equip that sentry gun. I've actually never used sentry guns in here, but they could they could be good for this outlast. Okay, let's get this bad boy started off. And we'll put this right here. Okay, we need ammo desperately. This is... I can't believe how much of an issue this is. Okay, we're just bobbing and weaving. Try and get rid of this mangler as well. Jump over here. Just try and stay on the move. Late up again. Okay, we've run out of ammo again. This is not the gun for this at all. I must admit. But we've almost done this outlast now. We've got 10%. Alright, outlast complete. We ended up going down there. I thought the zombies were going to die a bit quicker. I'll tell you what, we'll stow that. And then we'll quickly loot this. We got a VR11 case. VR11 plans, we don't need that. Cool, yeah. I mean, all good, all good, all good. What else we got over here? Stamina up. Take that. Alright, let's go and get the final contract here. So it looks like we just got enough self revives, to be fair. Went down during the bounty and then we just went down there. We're going to head over here because there's a rift there that we can use to get on top of the mall to grab the next contract. Which is the easiest contract by far. It's the uh, A for Extractor contract, which is right here. And then what we're going to want to do, we will equip that other Casimir. I mean, hopefully we can get some better loot. I mean, we've got a VR11, we've got a dog bone. It's not exactly great for using an Elder Sigil. But, I mean, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Is what it is, right? Okay, so we're just going to chuck this right here. And then activate this. There we go. I thought it was bugged then for a second. Okay, we've got one more Casimir, and then we have a monkey that we can use as well. So we'll just chuck that one there. There we go. 
and then final one just here cool and then because the zombies actually never stop spawning in the dark aether what we'll do is we'll just pop this see what rewar rewards we get we got an aether blade case we stole that we'll steal that elder sigil as well and we have space for one of those all right So as you can see, you know, you come in prepared, it's pretty easy. We had a little bit of trouble with the bounty at the start, but, you know, it all worked out fine. We kept running out of ammo and, you know, our gun probably wasn't really good enough to do the bounty uh, with ease. But it ended up being fine. But yeah, so, you know, hopefully you guys will start going into the Dark Aether alone, if you haven't already. I mean, once you know where everything is, it's it's very, very easy. I mean, you just have to be prepared, and you have to, like, basically look at the map and just, you know, see, what, see where things are and stuff like that. Uh, but I'll leave a link for where I get my map information in the description below. But yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you did comment let me know what your favorite gun is to run in the dark aether and i'll see you in the next one cheers